New Year's resolution? Well, um, first of all, um, I tried to get as many fights as possible this year. I changed uh, my training camp, so um, I'm really, you know, there's going to be like presentation for the new events in Europe this uh, this week, and I would like to uh, be on every one of them. So um, at least three fights, maybe maybe four, and of course I don't want to lose. Are you a bit jealous that you're not able to compete uh, on Saturday night with so yes. many fans expected in the arena? Yes, I am. I am. I just I just saw like how huge it is in Stockholm, you know, there's like um, banners everywhere like showing that the, the fight is going to happen and um, the people are so excited, you know, and the, even on the street we were just um, we were just buying some clothes, you know, and they were, oh, you're fighters, yeah, who were, who were you picking, you know, um, Gustafsson or Johnson and we are like, yeah, um, you know, of course, you know, during uh, when there's Swedish people around, we always choose Gustafsson, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure, you know, we don't want to get in, into any trouble and yeah, it's really, really cool. I would, I'm, I'm jealous. I would like to fight on this card. Well, you got to do something very fun, though, for your UCW. You got to debut in Germany, yeah. in Berlin, yeah. at which, was, which was also a very huge show. Yes. Looking back at that, do you think that they de that debut could have been any sweeter? No, because, you know, when I came back from this fight, you know, and I was sitting in my car, and, you know, when you sit in the car and you listen to the music and, like, when I takes it all, <laughs> dedicates the fall, time to make it all over the top. You know, you're like in your own movie, you know. And for me it was really like, uh, I was like, really, did, did this really happen or did I just dream it? And you, um, I always have that, like when something huge happens, you know, I'm afraid, to, like I wake up, you know. I remember um, when I drove uh, home, I was really, I didn't really, I, need, I really needed some time to realize what happened. And um, looking back, it was just, just perfect. Yes, it was. And yeah, you know, I don't know if you know that, but my opponent at uh, Drew Dober, yeah. he was um, he was at my after show party <laughs> and uh, he's now together with my sister. <laughs> and you <laughs> listen, listen, listen and it's, it's getting it's getting even more crazy. It's crazy, getting crazier. He came on Christmas. He came from the States wow. and we were celebrating Christmas together. And um, we, we had this funny picture when we um, it was funny in the fight, you know, we were like standing really toe to toe and uh, hitting each other and this picture we um, we uh, re re redid it redid it you know with presents you know giving like presents <laughs> really. so um, yeah and right now um, he's preparing for his next fight and yeah try to support him a little so it's really like a fairy tale story kind of uh. so you're happy about it pardon you're happy about it <laughs> yeah yeah i'm uh, i'm happy you know he's a he's a he's a good guy he's um, he's a he's a fun guy also and I think uh, he's, a, he's a good choice. My sister made a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, since uh, uh, your, uh, your fight following out, unfortunately, didn't really go your way. But we've seen from a lot of fighters, for example, Alexander Gustafsson, that your first loss in the UFC can be a very beneficial thing because it can teach you so much about yes. the level of competition, but also about yes. yourself as a fighter. Yes. Do you agree with that? And what have you learned? Absolutely. You know, I totally agree with that. I changed a lot of things since then, really, because I it's not only because of the fight, it's also we're now here, like in the fight we see how huge everything is, you know you want to keep up, you know, you want to be part of this, you don't want to um, when you lose, you know, it's always like reminds you, you know, nothing is like for granted, you have to work for that and um, I mean, I, I was working for the for the win in Texas too didn't really work out like I planned it but um, I um, I changed a lot and I'm really planning on not I'm really planning, I am going to show in the next fight. You know, Europe's got quite a few uh, superstars now in the UFC that really transcended into the mainstream. We've got Gustafsson and, yeah. and also Conor McGregor, and obviously yes, McGregor yes. had a big win uh, last yeah. weekend. What did you make of uh, the comparisons of him, you know, com com being called the Irish Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has the same kind of uh, technique with the mouth, you know, he's uh, really good in talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's my cameraman. He was on the <laughs> toilet all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so um, actually, um, yeah, I think there's um, you can compare both of them because you know he's really he's light on his feet. You know he, he does predictions. You know he predicts around. This time he was wrong, but nevertheless he had really um, no problem. I think he's good for the sports. You know he's um, he's a loud mouth, but uh, he's really good for the sports. And till now, you know he proved that uh, everything he said is. Um, yeah, it's right, you know, but um, yeah, next fight, Aldo. What do you think about that fight? What was the prediction for that fight? The thing is, you know, right now the hype train um, is really 
with Connor, you know. But did you see when Connor jumped over the fence and was facing Aldo? Did you see his laugh, Aldo's laugh? He was scary. He wasn't playing. He was like, this is really funny, you know. I'm enjoying my time. Funny Irishman, you know. It's like, you know, he didn't really even blink. He's, uh, so it, I don't know. It's, um, I think he's, he's the champ for a reason. So um, I don't dare any predictions, but I'm pretty sure um, this is going to be one hell of a fight. Yeah. And for you as a fighter, obviously, coming off that loss in Texas, you know, how much can you take from that of you? You know, learned a lot of things. Sometimes, obviously, people say, you know, a loss is more beneficial than a win at times. Yeah. So, first of all, you know, there's losses and losses. You know, for me, it didn't really feel like uh, like I lost this fight. You know, I mean, um, at the end, you know, it's what uh, what stands on the on the paper, what counts. But um, I didn't really feel like I I lost this one. But nevertheless, you know. And there's one saying, you know, everyone knows it, you know, you sometimes even get bored of it, you know, never leave it to the judges. And I think I really need to work on finishing opponents. I, um, I knocked him down twice in the first round and I didn't finish it. So um, the, I have to work on this transmission and yeah, when I have my, my first knockout in the UFC and I, I really, you know, we changed also the, the camp due to this, um, due to this aim. Yeah. Got the sentence. So did you reconsider maybe quitting other distractions and focusing mostly only on mm -hmm. MMA? I mean distractions um, in my preparation. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, no, no, no. I think like in every preparation, I'm really focused. You know, this I really blend out any any distractions. But um, maybe it's not enough. I really think of uh, changing the place um, and um, trying like really like a new start. I'm really excited because directly. Although I haven't uh, got any fight announced yet, um, I'm um, already like starting my camp um, after Stock di directly after Stockholm. So um, I'm really excited. I'm sitting on packed bags and um, getting ready for the yeah for the fight preparation already. Can you tell us when you'd be ready to fight if you can't tell us what fight. Yeah, um, I think in April I would be ready. In Poland, 11? Oh, is that the event in Poland? Uh, yeah. In Krakow? Is it? Yeah, yeah. If, yeah that, would, that would kind of fit, right? It's yeah. It would be, it would be good, yeah. John Bohovic is also invited here as a guest. Yes, yes, yeah, I think it's coincidence, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I believe so, too. He's a, really, he's a really good guy and did some awesome mashed potatoes today in the cooking class. <laughs> he did, it was, uh, he was off the hook, so... Um, it's our specialty, potatoes. Potatoes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was really it was the only only meal that uh, wasn't like failed. Like uh, he said, he he can only cook water only. Only, yeah. yeah but he's, he he did the potatoes. He, the potatoes were awesome. I didn't try his water yet, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nick, since you uh, last competed, there's a lot of big announcements made in the UFC. One of which is the signing of uh, ex uh, WWE wrestler CM Punk. Yeah, he's gonna be making his debut later on this year. What's your thoughts on first of all the signing and also the prospect of having someone come into the UFC, the highest level of MMA, without any pro MMA experience and competing here? Yeah, I mean, um, yes. Like this medal has two sides, you know. On the one hand, you know, getting more attention to the UFC might be good, um, and I think this is what uh, people think or thought when they when they signed him. But on the other hand, you know, um, I think it was um, Nate Diaz who made this comparison, and I think it perfectly fits. You know, you can't just go to the NBA and say, um, "Hey, let me play." You know, I mean, um, they will say, "Come on, you're." And 170, you know, centimeters. You know, they say you can't even uh, balance the ball. Get out of here. And this is the problem, you know. I mean, who's he going? Who's he going going to fight? You know. And um, at the end, you know. I mean, I don't want to. At the end, you know, we have a second Brock Lesnar, and every everyone is going to point at me, and say, yeah, "What? See what you said." So, I think. Um, but the thing about Brock, though, Brock had a, had a background coming in. CM Punk yeah, has no, true, has no. He's like he's a white belt in yeah. jiu-jitsu. Brock, you know, was a the NCAA uh, wrestler. So Why are you saying that now? <laughs> I mean, you make me look stupid. You know. <laughs> so would you consider this more o as a freak fight or just MMA fight? Once he debuted, I never saw him. I never saw him train. I never saw him uh, do like a, a, a real fight. So um, I, I think he doesn't have an NCAA. Is it NCAA yeah, I in, in, the, in the wrestling background? So 
You train MMA 24-7, right? Yes, I do. He, he has just now started to train MMA 24-7. Okay, okay let's, let's bring it to the point, you know, I think, um, I think it could be a, a freak show and I am, um, yeah, what should I say, I'm, I'm more excited about other fights actually. He's yes. picked a uh, Rufus Sport, what do you think about that as a choice for him? I don't know too much about this, you know, so um, yeah, I think uh, Petit is um, yeah. also yeah. training with him, yeah, I read that and uh, some... <sighs> <laughs> it's like it's like all, all the all the questions you say. I'm like, ah, yeah. Um, I don't really I don't really have an opinion on this one because you know for me it's there's really important stuff for me. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, he's we are going to see his debut. You know how he's going to um, come out. So let's see. Let's, let's Stick, uh, sticking on the theme of uh, professional wrestling just yes. for a second here. Uh, Brock Lesnar's contract with the WWE will be up at the end of March, and there's a lot of rumor and speculation about him potentially coming back to the UFC. So he's going to be back. Would you like to see? <laughs> would you like to see him back in the UFC? Yes, of course. You know he's uh, he's entertaining. He's um, he's just a beast. You know, and it, it would be nice to see him back. You know, so um, I'm yeah. This is this is really something I'm um, I'm waiting for. So um, and I think um, you know comebacks can really be really impressive. You know he has his, he has had his time off, and um, yeah I'm, I'm really waiting for this one. And Nick, yeah. speak about uh, obviously the German MMA scene since the last sh uh, show in Berlin. Has you know anything kicked on? Obviously we've seen uh, you know there's been a TV deal signed um, with the UFC. They're going to be back this year. Was there any knock-on effect from that show in Berlin? And how's the you know the grassroots level of mixed martial arts in Germany? Well, first of all, you know it's so you heard that the the television ban you know is over. So I think we are really right now in the we are living the future. You know, it's going to be uh, there's going to be a huge development. It or it has already been you know since last year um, many things changed. The thing is you know this is a process a process that's going to take time. Um, of course we have some some um, fighters with good potential. We really have have them, but uh, up to now you know we still have to to go to professional camps which are for the time being not in Germany. So um, everyone is like trying to go where where it's best for him. So. Um, but I think this is a process that is really going to, to um, how you say, that bring bring out the fruits, you know, uh, in the, in the, in the near future. It was was it gross what I said? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> maybe it was like was like. I heard it. I've heard it's actually was in the um, some kind of a law saying the MMA was banned in Germany, more like an agreement. Well, is it correct? Yeah, it was like um, there's there's like in Bavaria there's like this. Um, this media center, you know, and they they banned it, and then um, the the UFC went uh, to court with that, and and they found out that this uh, decision this decision is illegal itself, so they had to take it back immediately, and now um, the the contract signing is in the making, so um, we don't really know yet like which channel, for example, it's going to be, but um, there's some rumors, and there's some really interesting rumors, and I think um, because people. I, I tell you how it is, you know, they're starting to get fed up with the martial arts shown on TV right now, which boxing, for example, and stuff. And, um, you know, UFC is so interesting, you know. It's so, um, even for the people that have no idea w what, they are, what they are seeing right now, you know, they're really getting into it. And uh, you see that when you are here in, uh, in Stockholm, you know, UFC is everywhere. You know, and people are really even... Um, I was talking to a, to an old lady, you know, she was like, yeah, I don't know uh, which fighters, but it's an interesting sport, you know. And she was really, it was fun because, you know, in she could be my grandma, you know. My grandma doesn't know nothing about the, the or ever knew something about the UFC. So, yeah, they're putting a lot of um, effort in it and you, you're going to see that in Germany as well soon. Do you find, obviously being a police officer as well, have you come under any sort of public scrutiny or, you know, um, bad press or, you know, being slated for uh, f for being a mixed martial artist? I like that, you know, I like when, when people confront me with this because, you know, I come and this is just a picture, I come with my gun loaded, you know, it's like I have the, the, the arguments, you know, I have the, the, I know the facts. Mm. And usually, you know, the, the critics on the spot is like made up fantasy, you know, or like really they didn't do their homework and it's so fun to make them run against the wall you know you're like oh yeah that's that's really what what you think of yeah it's a bad sport yeah, it doesn't have any rules yeah 
it's totally, it's totally, you know, you should beep it out now. Bullshit, you know, they don't. And that is right now, it's kind of fun because getting rid of all these, um, yeah, old fashioned uh, thi uh, thoughts. So, um, yeah, it's, um, I, I like that job. I really love it. And I, uh, I think till now I could, at least in, in the interviews I had, I could, um, I could, uh, maybe change a little bit, like bring something to the progress, yeah. Nick, are there any athletes that you uh, look up to for motivation or inspiration outside of the sport of MMA from different sports? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, you always, um, I mean, of course there's like a, a very easy comparison to the to the boxing again, like Mike Tyson, you know, he's, uh, he's awesome. I, I, you know, I tell you a secret, you know, don't tell anyone else. <laughs> Um, like every every fight week, I, I I watch the documentation of uh, of Tyson when he was younger. You know when he was so nervous before the fighting, and uh, you see this really this beast. You know being like like sad and something, and you get uh, the feeling like um, you know he's human too. And then you see how he destroys everyone. And of course Tyson is like one of my absolute uh, absolute fav favorites. Yeah. Tim Leidecker sent me a short. Um a short document about you and it said something about TV series you are involved in yes. or you were involved in. Can you tell, tell us something more about it? Yes, it's a, it's a comedy show and um, uh, I, you know, we play like, in this comedy show we play like Undertakers, three Undertakers. We don't know nothing about the job, it's called Diese Kaminskis and um, it aired uh, last year in November, October, November. And it was a huge success, you know, the, the, um, the ratings were really good and we are even nominated for some movie prizes and there's going to be a second season. We don't know when it's, when it's yet and f I mean, till now, you know, there's some really, really exciting uh, projects in the UFC, like coming up now, like the European events, so I really am going to focus on this one, but um, yeah, wouldn't mind um, later when I have time, like to, uh, to join in again. Yes, it's really funny. You should see it. You know, we have uh, some. S I don't speak German. We have subtitles. You know, yeah, it's it's a good uh, promotion. You know, it's any uh, other? I'm going to send you one. Thank you. Any any other uh, projects like this you would like to get involved? Maybe only right now training and fighting because you know I'm really getting jealous. You know, you saw the huge banners outside and everyone is taking pictures with the banners. I want some day. You know, have a big banner with my my face on it. You know, with the ears. Put a sticker on it. Yes, I, I already did. I paint. I painted my <laughs> face on it. Was here. Yeah. Yes, I w was was here, Nikhain. Yeah. But <laughs> did you see it? No. Yeah. I will. Yes. I will look for I it. I show you. I show you directly after we. Okay. okay. Thanks, Nick. Right. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.